All right, so I'm just going to talk briefly about my three favorite things uh, on the 3D experience platform. I would start it off with 3D dashboards. And the reason being is because I think it is a fantastic way to visualize and set up information depending on how you know your company wants to organize its data at a glance and get access to applications um, kind of you know at your fingertips you can see the dashboards allow for more than just uh, or engineering applications to be utilized um, but also things like web pages um, videos uh, graphs and charts and so on but let's not just talk about the dashboard let's go ahead and create one so I'm going to go ahead and launch a new dashboard, right? So I'm just going to call this my dashboard and we'll enter a description saying to organize and lay out uh, information. And let's go ahead and create this. So I've gone ahead and created my dashboard and we can see these tabs at the bottom, allowing us to organize how we want to split um, the different uh, sections of our dashboard, if you will. So let's create our first tab over here and we're going to name this design. So this will have our design information in it. We can bring in the design tools that we use. So on the 3D experience platform, one of my favorite design tools is X design. So I can drag that in. I can also drag in my vault of information, 3D space can drag that in on this corner over here. And if I want to preview information, I can also drag in the 3D Play app as well. <clears throat> and if I'm happy with how this looks, right, like with the general outline, I can just auto fit this all to the page using the fit option. Right? Now, the advantage of having all of this information or all of these applications laid out in this manner is that now if I want to access data from my, from my vault, from my storage, I can just dive into the folder that I want. So I'm going to go into my sandbox over here. And if I want to preview a SOLIDWORKS file, I can drag it into the 3D Play app. <clears throat> and we can enlarge this widget over here so we can kind of uh, interrogate this product a little bit. Right, maybe share it uh, to a group that we belong to on the 3D Experience um, platform. Um, if I have uh, information that I've created in one of the design apps in the 3D Experience platform and say I want to um, edit some information in a project or something like that, I can simply drag and drop um, from my storage directly into my design app right, and have this information at my fingertips. <clears throat> right, so now I can go ahead uh, and make some changes depending on what I want to do. Right. I'm just going to say OK and I can get out of that view. So we've created a design tab. Now let's go ahead and create some, some more categories uh, of, of, uh, of information. Right. So we have a design tab. Let's also create one for somebody or, or a group at the company uh, that might be in charge of uh, maintaining and releasing bill of materials information. Um, so a great role on the 3D experience platform for this is the engineering release application. And it might also be useful to have the 3D play application available uh, to this team as well so they can quickly drag and drop in parts um, as they work in order to kind of in order to kind of uh, get an idea of what this particular product is right and again you know we can fit this as we see fit so that you can get information uh, for bill of materials right over here right and if you want to preview it drag it into the, uh, the 3D Play window. <clears throat> so now to move on uh, to the third thing, which is the collaborative designer for SOLIDWORKS role on the platform. 
Now what this allows you to do, this one right here, is it allows you to work natively uh, with the 3D experience platform while still using the SolidWorks that we know and love. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and launch SolidWorks here. And over here, um, we have a the outer frame of a prosthetic leg made by the company Biodapt. Okay. So what we're going to see is how we can use the collaborative designer role um, to work natively in SolidWorks and also have the advantage of using the data management capabilities uh, offered by the 3D Experience platform. So one thing that you'll notice that's a little bit different is in my you know, regular SolidWorks, I have it installed on my desktop, I have an extra icon on my task pane. I have the 3D Experience um, add-in enabled. And similar to the assembly tree on the left here, we have all of this assembly information um, showing us all the different parts that make up this assembly over here. We get visual um, feedback telling us that the file has not been saved into the 3D Experience platform. So I can go ahead and push it up to the cloud to make it available for my colleagues. <clears throat> and it's just going ahead and saving all of that information now uh, into the 3D Experience platform. And, and what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to give access uh, to this information to all of my colleagues to push into the other applications uh, on the platform, right? And now again, you know, we have this again, visual uh, confirmation that the file has indeed been pushed up into the platform, right? So it's now, now exists in the cloud uh, in my sandbox 3D space. Now we can do other things here. So for example, if I wanted to take ownership of this file, for those of you that are familiar with um, data management systems, I can go ahead and maybe I wanna you know, lock this entire assembly or a particular part, I can go ahead and lock it. And what this does is it gives me ownership of the file. So this means that anybody else trying to uh, write to this particular file uh, cannot currently uh, write to it. So the green key is telling me that I have ownership of the file right now. Uh, and anybody else that tries to open up this file and edit it will see a red padlock telling them that they, that they cannot edit the file. Okay. Now when I'm done creating, uh, you know, making my changes uh, to the file, I can go ahead and release it back to the system. Okay, so I can go ahead and unlock it. Perhaps I, I'm, 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 I'm happy with one particular part that I've worked on. So let's say this, uh, this right side of the frame here. And I'm going to say that I want to change the maturity state. So I can change the maturity state from in work to a frozen state. Right, right from within the uh, PLM task pane here. And this basically what it does is it, uh, it doesn't allow anybody to edit it because it currently is in the frozen state. It's waiting approval. And only someone uh, on the platform that has the right uh, privileges can go into this particular part and release it. Okay. Right. So um, I actually do have release privileges, so I can go ahead and release this. And we can see the maturity state. It went from in work to frozen to released. So you can see that we have a lot of different functionality options uh, right from within SolidWorks, lots of PLM tools that we can take advantage of. Now, another neat thing is um, I can actually initiate a revision right from within the, um, the platform, it's, uh, right from within SolidWorks itself. Um, and I can just enter a comment saying test revision. Yeah, and I can revise this and say OK. And now we basically get a prompt saying that, you know, revision B is the new active revision and it hasn't been saved. And, and the top level assembly has not been saved with this new revision added in. 
All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and unlock this and then save my assembly with the new revision. All right, so it's asking me to lock the file. Okay, we can see that that uh, information is given to us over here because an edit was made. So it tells us that. So we can go ahead and lock the file here and then save it up. And that will push the assembly with the new revision of the file up to the cloud. And now we can unlock this. Yeah. There we go. And um, that covers my three uh, top things about the platform. Uh, thank you very much for listening.